Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Kroger uh, meals. This is a refrigerated meal. It is the Asian inspired beef ball. It's udon noodles with ginger sauce. Yeah, 19 grams of protein. Um, it is, it's a refrigerated bowl. This was over where the prepared uh, like hot dogs and sausages and barbecue in a package, they're already prepared, like the mashed potatoes, all that stuff. That was where this was at. Um, ready in two minutes. Now, like I said, we bought this at Kroger. It was $4.99, so it's $5 pretty much. Um, 10 ounces are 283 grams. And let's see. It is 410 calories for the entire bowl. And here's the other information. Wow, the sodium. Um, yeah, that's it. So directions. So you can do this in a stovetop if you want to. Of course, we're not going to do stovetop, but you can if you want to. You can just boil the pouches and pour it in. We're going to do the microwave. So we're going to carefully puncture each bag three to five times, place bags in back in this bowl, and microwave for two minutes on high or until product reaches 165 degrees. I'm not going to use the thermometer, but we're going to trust it. Pour open packages and pour contents in a bowl. Stir and enjoy. So let's see. There's... Okay, put that to the side. Um, it does have this little, like, it's sealed right here, so you just pull this off. I got the tripod today, so I can use both hands. Good thing, too, it didn't want to open. So it didn't want to open. Yeah. Come on. It doesn't want to give you enough uh, leverage to open the thing. I will get the bowl open, I promise. Ah, there we go. Whew, that was a good heck of a seal. They, they really popped that on there. So anyway, there's the beef after fighting with it. I think I've lost 10 calories just fighting with that bowl. Um, there's the beef and there's the noodles. Looks like little worms in there. So I'm going to poke some holes in here and uh, get this in the microwave and just uh, basically take them out of the bowl, poke some holes in it and then put them back in there. I'm going to put the, yeah, I'll, just, I'll get them. In. I'll probably prop them up because I found, I've done um, one of these before and it tends to leak everywhere. So I'll probably prop them up to where they won't poke the holes up at the top. Anyway, I'll be back. Hey, so here it is out of the microwave. Um, I just left them propped up like that, like I said. I'm gonna get the noodles first. There is a, like a, I just ended up, let me see if I can get this propped up there, sit up there. Um, it's got like a little pull tab here, but I just ended up venting it at the top, just cutting it across. And then I can just pull this right across and open it up. So let's see if the noodles come out pretty easily. Nope, they came out, that, that's, that's out. And then, same thing with the beef. I may have to cut that one though. Yeah, let me cut it with scissors so I won't sling it. I ended up burning myself. Okay, well that's that's what it looks like. So let me get my fork. Let's kind of mix it up. Quite a bit of beef. I mean, not tons, but you do get it's more than I was expecting, honestly. So I'm going to, um, those noodles are huge. I'm going to let this soak just for a minute, let it cool off because it's super hot. And um, I'll be back. Okay, I gave it just a little time to cool off. Not, not super long. Honestly, probably not long enough. It's probably still very hot. But you only cook it for two minutes, so it's not like it's super hot. Um, I'm going to try the noodles first, just to see what they're like. They're very chewy, almost rubbery, truth be told. Um, they're not bad, they don't have really much flavor at all. Um, let me try some of the beef. I definitely get the ginger. And almost like a, um, a sesame kind of sauce flavor. So I get ginger and, and a sesame kind of flavor. Not bad. It's um, it's a little on the sweeter side than, than a spicy side, which I think 
I don't know. I, I like a good mix of sweet and soft and sweet and sour, kind of sweet and spicy, but um, this is more kind of on the sweet side. Together, they go pretty good together. Um, I like that sesame ginger kind of flavor um, mixed with the noodles. It, it actually tastes pretty decent. Not bad. The um, the steak or the, the and the sauce in here almost has an alcohol kind of flavor to it. If you ever I don't know, it's just hard to explain, but it, it's very sesame ginger um, like. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and so I can actually read this label. Um, it's water, corn syrup, soy sauce, which I can see that, soy sauce. Um, that's really the only thing they really mentioned, so it's more of the soy sauce. Um, the sherry cooking wine. Uh, vinegar, yeast extract, garlic, sesame oil. I knew I tasted sesame. Um, onion powder, ginger. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty decent. It's not great, but it's definitely edible. Um, it's not, I had ramen bowls were just as good, if not better, uh, than this. So I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I do think it's it's good. It's more balanced flavors than, um, than the other one that I had. Um, it's a more balanced flavor than that one, but um, but this one's good. It's, I like this one better than the other one, but they both still got three, so go figure. Uh, but I do like this one better. It's still not like really, really good or phenomenal. Um, the, the flavors just need to be a little stronger for me. Um, I do think it's it's good, and this one's easier to deal with too. So anyway, definitely worth trying out if you want to spend five dollars, which I think is ridiculously expensive for what it is, but it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.